Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Erin Dura. For those of you who don't know me, I'm so excited to have finally start my YouTube channel. This has been on my mind for years. I just never really had the guts to do it. Uh, so I'm so excited for this new journey. This video is basically just um, an introduction video and basically just about myself. So let's get right into it. Um, again, my name is Erin Dura. I am 25 years old. I live here in the Central Valley, California. Um, I was born in Mexico, actually, in Michoacan, Arriba Michoacan. Um, I was born in a small ranchito in the municipio de Turicato. And I had came to the U.S. when I was five years old. Um, my sister was four. Um, I am the oldest of four siblings. Um, my sister, which is my Irish twin, she's only 11 months younger than me. My mom had us back to back. Um, my uh, only brother, he is five years younger than me, and my little sister is 10 years younger than me. So I am the oldest. I'm basically like their second mom. <laughs> but me and my sister, um, my parents brought us to the U.S. when I was five, and my sister was four. This was in the year 2000. Um, my parents had crossed over first, obviously, to, you know, um, get a stable uh, place to live in and everything. And, you know, we just came over after. I believe it was three months after they had came to the U.S. And we originally resided um, here in the Central Valley first. But I guess my parents just decided to take us up north to Sacramento. So I was raised in Sacramento. Um, uh, so I was raised there for 10 years. In 2010 is when we moved back here to the Central Valley. And, um, you know, my life was just like all of our lives you know where our parents migrate to the u.s and they work to provide for a better life for us uh, i remember my dad would have three jobs my mom would always work you know and you know that's where that role of a big sister came in for me you know i helped raise my siblings and you know i love having that role even though you know as a big sister you have more like you have a responsibility and stuff and you're just you just feel like they're your kids so, you know, I did play that big sister role because my parents did work a lot. So, um, in 2010 is when my dad died. I was 15 at that time. Um, and we were living in Lincoln. So, um, we lived in Sacramento. And when I was, when I started in middle school, I think it was, when I started in middle school, we moved to Lincoln. If you guys don't know where that's at, that's um, north of Sacramento, like in the Rockland, Roseville area. So, we moved there. Um, and in 2010, um, is, I was a sophomore in high school, is when my dad died. And, you know, um, we just, my mom decided to move here in the Central Valley because this was where all her family was at. So we just moved over here in 2010. Um, we literally just came with clothes. Uh, my mom, my mom is that type of person, you know, who doesn't like having stuff as memories. And I'm the complete opposite, you know, like I like having, like, how do you say it like things as memories like um i don't know just personal belongings as memories pictures and my mom is the complete opposite like she threw everything out we had like she wanted no memory of you know of my dad at all so she threw everything out we just came with literally our clothes so we came in 2010 we stayed with my aunt for a while before uh, we got our own apartment in color california and you know that was just a tough time for all of us i think i was 15 at the time and my siblings were obviously younger my sister was 14 my brother was 10 and my little sister was five five years old so you know that was a tough time to go through but you know life moves on and things happen for a reason and i honestly believe that like how do you say it this happened for me to meet my soulmate because if we wouldn't have moved over here i wouldn't have met my husband and you know obviously all this and actually when i moved here right away is when i met my husband now you know so i've literally been with him since i moved here and to the central valley so it's pretty crazy how things worked but anyways i am married um i do have two kids like i say my husband we have been together for almost 10 years we got married in 2013 so we have been married for six years no seven almost seven years and then uh we have been married through the church one year 
so we have been together for the longest time and i honestly feel like he is my soulmate obviously we have we uh were high school sweethearts and like i say he is the first guy i talked to when i moved here to central valley so it was meant to be but anyways um my two kids my daughter's gonna be um six no yeah six next month and my son is a year and a half he's gonna be two in october um i love them with all my heart they are everything to me everything i do is for them so um i am a insurance agent that's my full-time job i also have my makeup business and i also have my monet business and then now i have my youtube and i'm crazy for having all this on my plate but you know this is what i love to do this is what um i'm dedicated to my life this is what i want to do for the rest of my life so i'm so excited for this youtube journey and um although it's nerve-wracking you know i was um in high school and earlier i always been that quiet person um like I, about the group i'd be the one that wouldn't talk you know i've just been always quiet super nervous to put myself out there let me tell let me just tell you guys this that i've never in my life been to a party and i've never gone to a club that's how much of a quiet person i am so you know obviously putting myself out like this is kind of nerve-wracking but at the same time so exciting um i want to say the first time i actually put myself out there is when with my makeup business so i started getting into makeup in 2015 um, when i just had my daughter so i did start getting into makeup watching youtube and tutorials and all that so start getting into makeup you know practice makes perfect guys when it comes to makeup we all start with those ugly brows and thin brows and uneven wing liner but practice makes perfect anyways so i was debating for the longest to actually like make money off of it and start freelancing um and you know so it was so nerve-wracking for me to do my makeup page and put myself out there like that but I did it and I am so happy that I did because freelancing is honestly the best thing ever. I love feeling, I love having girls feeling confident and, you know, feeling amazing. That's what I live for. And, you know, I have met so many people in the past years that I did freelancing and it's just honestly my passion. I love doing it. And, you know, I, I do want to say that's the first time I ever put myself out there because just the idea of having you know talking to a new person having a person over and me doing makeup on them was like killer to me like i just i was so scared so that definitely brought me out of the comfort of my comfort zone and you know also doing monet monet has brought me out of my comfort zone a lot and now obviously this doing youtube so i am so excited um to start this journey with you guys and you know it's scary but at the same time exciting like i say and i can't wait to share my life with you guys um so definitely cannot wait to upload videos and you know get my channel going and interact with you guys that's one thing i love about you know social media and interacting with my followers i love connecting with you guys and it just you know it feels awesome being that person you know to connect with so so excited for that so excited to involve you guys more in my life so yeah, I can't wait. So that th I think that's it for this video. Um, I'm still debating which what I want to be in my video after this. I'm still getting used to the camera and all this stuff. <laughs> but you know, um, I'm still learning and little by little, I'll get there. <laughs> but bear with me, you guys. And yeah, so excited for this journey. Like I said, 20 million times, I have the habit of repeating myself when I'm nervous. <laughs> but um. Yeah, you guys, I'll see you in my next video and make sure to subscribe.